Well, good morning. I just left the Wawa over there. Got me some coffee. Cause, you know, you gotta start your day with a little go-go. But anyways, I just picked up from the Home Depot. And I got a homemade red velvet cupcake that one of the customer service ladies made. Starting out a new recipe, so I guess I'll be guinea pig. But they're good, so it don't matter. And then she was um, informing about how another roadie driver was called her and demanding that the order be ready for uh, the front. And it's, I, it's funny how people expect things to get done, but they're not willing to actually take the time and do what is necessary to make things get done properly. But you shouldn't demand crap in life. Especially if you have no control over it. Like, that dude calling her and then Harbin saying he wanted everything out the front ready to go when he got there. Okay, bro. For one, you shouldn't be in a hurry. You shouldn't be trying to rush. Like, that's all like me here, because I don't rush them. I don't care. Like, I go in there, and I calmly wait, go get some coffee. Usually, I bring them back some coffee or they ask for some. Because why not? Life's not meant to be rushed through. The only people that rush, like the people that you've seen speeding on the highways, they're either late for work, late for an appointment, or they just got off work. Why? Because they don't own their lives. Because the majority of people, just like the majority of people that work at the Home Depot and the customer service on the hot tears home there, picking up an order, they're always there because they need the hours. They want some more hours so they make more money so they can go enjoy life. And every once in a while they'll take a vacation and go on a little event like the one lady who just wanted the Atlanta for a concert a couple weeks ago. And I'm like, man, I wish you had told me I got a time share right down the street from where your concert's at. You could have literally stayed there and then walked over there. Like I said, find ways to add value. Don't expect things if you're not willing to do anything else. And find ways to create passive residual cash flow. So that way you don't have to spend all your time working for money. Like right now, I'm on a delivery, about to go drop off two, um, like, tile packets up off of a um, colonial. It's like 20 bucks. A little like 12 mile delivery and so cool why not that's linear income I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna do this i'm gonna get paid one time for doing it but i do that because the majority of the money that i make for my linear income activities my delivery gigs that money gets funneled into cash flow producing assets hold on yeah that notification for grub up delivery they want me like 20 miles for 12 bucks not happening like i said that's the quality of having passive residual cash flow though you don't have to accept stuff that's not worth it. Like, if it's going to pay you and it's not a fair amount of pay, you don't have to accept it. Like me, I, I, I deny half the trips I get offered and half the deliveries I get offered for roadie and grill. I like, I don't do them because they don't pay enough. So that's why you hear all these people complaining on social media about the gig economy, this and that. They don't pay enough and they make you an employee. No. Just stop take accepting cheap deliveries. You choose the deliveries you accept. And though, you know, I make probably more money from making deliveries than the average employee makes in a week. Which, well, whatever. That's not my goal. I do these deliveries because the people I pick up the deliveries from, the food items or the Home Depot deliveries or CVS, they're people that don't own their lives. They're working for money. And they don't have no way to get more out of life unless they get a second job. So I share what I do, how I create residual repeat income. So I do something once and I keep getting paid for it. I got money that comes in monthly whether I'm working or not. And then I have a conversation with a couple of them about the keys to investing in cash flow producing assets. So you have that passive cash flow. But at the end of the day, oh, there's no excuse for you not to have residual passive income. There is no reason you do not have money in this coming in whether you're working or not. Everybody, and I do mean everybody, can invest in cash flow producing assets in the stock market, crowdfunding, real estate, REITs, all that good stuff. That takes a lot of capital to invest it. But then, if you actually truly want more out of life and you don't have a crap load of capital invested, you can get started in most referral marketing businesses, network marketing companies for less than 100 bucks. Hell, most of the crap that I do. Like the company I'm with now, it's a, you can get started for free. And if you want to get paid, like you're trying to build a business, you got to buy 40 points for the stuff. That's literally one item. 
So, cool. Mega free account. It's been 60 to 70 bucks. And started sharing with other people away where they can start creating passive residual cash flow and they can share something they're personally benefiting from and help their network of contacts and friends start creating residual cash flow by getting them all for free spending 60 70 bucks up to 100 bucks let's do 100 for simple math spend 100 bucks on some products all right so your friend got involved they spent 100 bucks their friend got them all spent 100 bucks so now you're making residual cash flow from inviting your friend and you're benefiting from the products and the residual cash flow your friend invited somebody they spent 100 bucks so they're also benefiting from residual cash flow and the products and then you help the friend that they invited do the same thing so they invite one of their friends and it's a winning business Everyone is benefiting from the products and the residual cash flow from the get-go. So, it's, it's the simplest business model in the world. You invite people to get more out of life and create a fun experience so you can have other people that are enjoying life with residual cash flow so y'all can go enjoy life together. Travel, go out to eat, go to vacations, do whatever you want to do. Or you can be like the typical employee and sit at a job for eight hours a day and complain about it or you can do something about it first step hey educate yourself on the industry and the three-step system that can light on your life send you if you want some information i'll send you a pdf an audio book so you can educate yourself and if it sounds like something you'd be interested in trying like i said if you if it succeeds the sky's the limit if you fail you can go back to doing what you're doing you're out a hundred bucks. Wow. But anyways, follow me, like, subscribe, all that beautiful social media stuff. And like I said, if you want some information so you can educate yourself, let me know and I'll send you some information. Y'all have a great day. I'm going to drop this item off.